In this lesson, I'm going to focus on the Taylor's polynomial and the method of successive approximation. Taylor's theorem in elementary calculus is a very simple approach to approximate the solution to a first-order differential equation of the form dy over dx equals f of xy which is any function involving x and y, with the initial values at x sub o and y sub o. Successive dis differentiation of the equation y prime equals f of x, y at the initial values will generate an approximating polynomial of degree n. This is the Taylor's polynomial, which is the same uh, Taylor series in calculus. And the estimated error is given by this quantity, where k here can be any uh, number between your x and the initial value x sub o. Okay, let's have an example. Here, we find a fourth degree Taylor polynomial that will approximate the solution to given initial value problem. So, our differential equation is y prime equals uh, y squared minus x. And the initial value is at when x is equal to 0, the value of y is equal to 1. Okay, so we'll be using the uh, Taylor's polynomial. So, this is the first derivative at the initial values. Okay, so your x, x sub o is 0, the value of y sub o or y is equal to 1. And then knowing that this is your differential equation, y prime equals y squared minus x, okay, we uh, substitute the values of x and y at the initial values. So this will be 1 squared minus uh, 0, and that gives you 1. Okay, so this one is equal to 1. And then, of course, your x sub o is 0. And then we, we get the second derivative. So, y prime, we have y double prime here. And uh, derivative of y squared is 2y. Now, since y is our dependent variable, we multiply it by y prime. Then, derivative of minus x is minus 1 and then after differentiating we substitute the values we already have a y prime which is 1 okay this is 1 and the value of y is 1 so we have 2 here minus 1 we get one. So, you, the, the second derivative is also 1. This is equal to 0. And then we get the third order derivative. So here, we apply the product rule. So we copy 2y, then derivative of y prime is y double prime. Plus, copy y double prime. 
and then derivative of 2y will be 2 times derivative of y is y prime. And then, of course, the derivative of minus 1 will be 0. And then substitute the values. So we have 2 times 1. y double prime is 1. Okay, so 2 times 1 times 1. And that gives you 4 for y triple prime. So we're asked to get the fourth uh, degree. So we uh, continue with our differentiation. So we, we are now in the fourth order derivative. And then again, we apply product rule here. Okay. So, copy 2y, then derivative of y double prime is y triple prime. Now, this one is um, treated as a product, no? So, cap, uh, copy ano, derivative of 2y prime is 2y double prime copy y prime ah ah wait so uh, this is 2y y double prime ah uh, y triple prime and then copy y double prime derivative of 2y will be 2 2y prime and here this is a uh, 2 y prime raised to the power 2. So apply power rule. 2 times 2, you get 4 here. Then y prime raised to 2 minus 1. So that will be 1. And then derivative of y, do y prime will be y double prime. And substitute the value. So we have 2 times 1. This is 4. 2 times 1 times 1 plus 4 times 1 times 1. And that will be 8, 10, and 4. So that gives you 14. So given all the values of the derivatives at the initial values. No? So that gives you y is equal to 1 plus x plus 1 half x squared plus 2 over 3 x cubed plus 7 over 12 x to the fourth. So you can use this as your interpolating polynomial. So at any value of x here, you can solve for y. Now we go to the method of successive approximation. So the method is based on the existence and uniqueness theorem in differential equation. That's which states that under uh, certain conditions of continuity on the function f of x, y, the initial value problem y prime equals f of x, y and the initial values x sub o, y sub o, has a unique solution in some open interval containing the initial value x sub o. And the solution will be in the form of a sequence of functions which has a limiting function as the desired solution. The sequence is defined as follows. So starting with our initial value, now the first interpolating polynomial, which is denoted by y sub 1, will be the initial value of y plus the integral from the initial value of x to x uh, of the function f of t, y sub o, dt. So this, this will be based from your f of x 
f of x, y. So meaning we replace x by t and then your y, the variable y will be replaced by y sub o. And then that would be followed by y sub 2. So this is now instead of y sub o, it is now y sub 1. And then the, the polynomial here will be based on this. Now, since this is a function of x, okay, if we have y sub 1 of t, so the variable x here will be replaced by the variable t. Okay. So when you have the nth polynomial, nth degree polynomial, or rather uh, nth polynomial, so that will be the initial value plus uh, the integral from x sub o to x, and then the function f of t, now y sub n minus 1 t dt. Now, we employ the method of successive approximation to solve for y sub 1 and y sub 2 of the given initial value problem. So, we have here y prime equals y squared minus x, y of 0 equals 1. So, this is the same problem we solved in Taylor's polynomial. Okay. So this is your f of x, y, the, the function on the right-hand side of the differential equation. And the, the initial value y sub o is 1. So for y1, we have y sub o which is equal to 1. And then this is 0, so from 0 to x. So we have here f of t t1 and then we will apply this okay for y squared minus x x will be t and then y will be y sub o which is equal to 1 so this, this will be 1 squared and then we integrate integral of 1 is t this is t squared over 2 from 0 to x and that gives you 1 plus x minus 1 half x squared as your first interpolating uh, polynomial and then for y sub 2 that will be y sub o plus integral from x sub o to x and then the function f of t y sub 1 now your y sub 1 here is uh, the, the one we obtained from the previous slide is 1 plus t minus 1 half t squared okay so we will apply this on uh, f of x y y squared minus x so your x will now be t and then this is your uh, y squared okay, which is y sub 1 okay. so we simplify so squaring uh, three terms no so square square 1 twice the product twice the product and then we square uh, negative one half t squared and then of course you have uh, twice the product of one and this one and this is a simplified uh, polynomial you can combine 2t and negative t here before you integrate so this is uh, 1 over 5 times 4 so this is t to the fifth minus 1 over 4 t to the fourth 2t squared over 2 or uh, ah, you have here uh, 2t minus t so that will be t so t squared over 2 and then integral of 1 will be t and then apply the apply the 
limits from 0 to x will give you the interpolating polynomial y sub 2. So this is a fifth degree uh, polynomial. Now it will be quite tedious if we continue to y sub 3 because your y here is raised to the power 2. So for the next polynomial you need to square this polynomial polynomial so in, so in that case you may use MATLAB to expand you know, the square of these uh, five five terms. So let's remember that Taylor's theorem is a very simple approach to approximate the solution to a first order differential equation. And then the Taylor's polynomial is the same as that of the Taylor series in calculus. The method of successive approximation is based on the existence and uniqueness theorems uh, in calculus, which states that under certain conditions of continuity on f of x, y, the initial value problem has a unique solution in some open interval containing the initial value x above. And the solution will be in the form of a sequence of functions, which has a limiting a function as the desired solution.